Hello everybody, welcome in. I am Laura, also known as Looney at Uni. I haven't really used YouTube to showcase my gaming before, so this is kind of new for me, so please bear with me. They're probably not going to be great videos, but um, I'm normally a Twitch streamer, so it's going to be strange not having people to interact with whilst I game. Um, but this is going to be quite a scary game, and I thought it'd be good to sort of really immerse myself and experience it without sort of being distracted by chatting to people where it might seem less scary. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, hopefully there'll be more videos to come if this goes well. Please uh, leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoy the video. And um, if you have anything you want me to maybe do as a video series on YouTube, also let me know. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of horrors. Um, but this is Visage and my friend was telling me today that it's it's pretty damn scary. And they, they didn't know if I'd be able to play this alone. They were like, you might want to save this game for a stream. So I was just like, you know what? Challenge accepted. I am going to I am gonna do this as a YouTube series. So here is one of the chapters of Visage. And as I say, I hope you like the video. Let me know what you think afterwards in the comments. Thank you very much. Okay guys, um, here we go. This is my first playthrough ever of Visage. I have no idea really what it's about, just that it's a bit of a tense horror. I'm also pretty much, I've always been a console gamer, so I'm still getting used to PC controls. So please bear with me as we go through this. I've wrote all of the controls down, so hopefully uh, I won't balls up too much. Visage is hard. Patience. Ugh, I don't have a lot of that. Thorough investigation and good resource management are your best friends. All right, let's uh, let's give this a go. I can be Thora. Oh, I sounded like the monkeys at the beginning of Monkey Island. Well, I hope there's not monkeys getting hurt here. Are we going to be playing Russian Roulette? Oh, I'm tense already and this doesn't even... He is lighting this gun painfully slow. Definitely not monkeys. Oh, what am I playing? Oh, these are, this is, they're kids. Family, a family kill. I think that was a family death. That looked like maybe I'm the husband, wife, and then their two kids. That is not. That is not what I was expecting this game to be like. Am I then? It's locked. You need the gun. It's not locked. I just can't. Okay, right. 
GitHub. Let's see what we've got. Nothing yet. can be placed here. Progress room. The ro this room is a hub containing items that represent your progress throughout the game. These items are collected in different ways, including the end of the chapter. Once collected, these items will automatically appear in the progress room. Okay. So this is like my den. This is like a safe room, I guess. Okay. So I can't pick any of these candles up, but we can we can put candles there. Gosh, phone, you tried to get me there, didn't you? Hello, Twain. It's Rose, your neighbor. I, I know it's late, and I know that I tend to be a little anxious about small things. I apologize for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything all right? Could you call me just to let me know everything's fine? All right. Bye-bye. Did you tell them we're okay? Oh no, that's the end. I thought that was me ringing them. There's someone in this house. Did you hear that stomping? That wasn't me stomping. I wonder if the lights are going to go out and that's when I'm going to have to place candles. If I can place candles before that. So at this point, I may have spent a little too long looking around this room and at all the inanimate objects. Let's move on. It's locked. You need the key with a small mirror attached to it. All right, we can do that. Oh shoot, okay, your character's sanity will affect your gameplay. Standing too long in the dark will decrease your, your character's sanity amongst varying other elements. Your character's sanity is represented by the brain icon in the lower left corner of the screen. If you see the brain clearly, your character's sanity is dangerously low and dangerous events will occur. Oh crap. <laughs> the red cloud icon appears when you're in a stressful situation, which decreases your sanity. Okay, I can't really see... We'll just, we won't stay in the dark too long then, that's, that's fair enough. We've got light down here. Let's try this corridor first, it's uh, secure the area. Paranormal events occur randomly, shoot. Learn to identify these paranormal events as they hinder your progress and decrease your sanity greatly. Your character's sanity also affects the number of paranormal event occurrences. Okay, so the crazier we get, it's locked, you need a key see in there though which is kind of cool looks safe leave i found a key and this key triggers a chapter called the dolores chapter a twisted dream and that is what we're going to be playing through for this part of the walkthrough and the next so i hope you enjoy it guys oh yeah we want that you will not be able to begin a different chapter to complete this one Taking the sun and we'll begin a chapter. Oh, I don't know if we want that. We want the one with the mirror, right? Shh. Don't be scary. Right. Do you know what? We'll do it. We will do it. We will do it. We might have to do it anyway. It might be the only option, but we'll do it. This is a new chapter. It's not the mirror key, darn. Right, there's two types of key items and dynamic items. Dynamic items are stored when possible in your dynamic inventory. They're usually discardable. Key items are essential to your progress and are stored in your key inventory. Inventory. It's jammed. Ah, oh, that is the mirror key. Perfect. Well, we know where to take that. Dolores' chapter. Oh, a twisted dream. Right, well, this is the chapter we're going to be doing today, then, folks. Settle in. And you, hush. Okay, we need the basement key for that. I wonder where we get that. I wonder if we can literally start on anything, or if we start here. Uh, so inventory is tab. I'm nervous. Dolores Twisted Dream. Put that back on. Okay. 
candles. Jammed again. Got aircon in this corner. Spooky mirror. Okay. I'm going to turn around. Someone's going to be there. No. Okay. Why am I a vampire, though? You can't see me either. Where the fudge did my mirror disappear? Well, I don't really know what I did in that chapter because... All I've done is like open up a spooky mirror. All right, we'll keep going the way we were going. We've there's probably a basement key we'd need for this one. Oh, what was the note? Ooh, what was the note? Looking for the garage key? It's probably in your jeans pocket in the laundry room, as always. Thank me later, honey. Alright, well that's how we get the garage key. That's fine, that's cool. But we're not doing that chapter yet. We're doing the Twisted Dreams. Which I'm assuming... Oh, wait, this door wasn't open before. There's my spooky mirror. Spooky mirror! Oh, no mirror. It's up there now. Okay. I have to go upstairs. I'm wondering if there's like codes or anything on any of these things. It's my wife. I wonder if that's who I just killed. I wonder if that's any bearing on on this current story. If that was someone. Oh, okay. Sanity's decreasing. So how did it? How do I increase it? Just uh, hang out in the light. It did, I don't think it said how to decrease sanity, did it? It's just. Make sure the lights are on. Okay, we'll do it fast. We'll just go fast, guys. We'll just run it. The mirror seems to show a room in the house, so we want to find this room with a rocking chair. We want to do it. You can hear footsteps coming from the attic. Oh, I don't want to go up there. Let's hide. Do we need to hide or do we need to... Oh! I can't see anything. Oh, shoot. I think I'm dying. I'm so scared. get into this freaking room. I'm so bad with like freaking controls. I'm so sorry. Right, better. We're in a nice. My brain's a little better. It's not red anymore. I was pretty stressed prior to that. Why have I got a nice? That's a good that I've got a nice light in there, but Stressed out. I think I have to go up in the loft, don't I? I can't see anything down here. 
Oh, is it that last scare? Oh, we're back out here again. So we've just, all right, so we've got an exit, a quicker exit now. Let's do it. This handle's out of re Okay, so we've got to find something to open the loft, the loft with. We'll find it, we'll find something. Safe in the light. Ooh. Which indicates a safe key. Okay. Maybe I find something in a drawer. <gasps> oh my gosh. Stop it. Ah. Will you stop it? I'm getting stressed. My little brain is getting stressed out. Keep that on. Wait, you can repair the bulb? Hold. I would like bulb and repair. Oh no, I need to repair it. Okay, I get it. You fudge me. Alright, there's nothing in here. I get it. I get it. <laughs> right, nice baby room. We can hear a baby crying. This might be the room we need. Some lights down here. Let's see if there's a pole in the cupboard that we can use to open the window. Just look at the teddy bear. It's fine. So I uh, keep staring at the bear for quite a while. And I keep searching for a pole for quite a while. Why am I trying to find a pole to go into a room I do not want to go into? Secret room. Not scared. I'm not scared. You are. As long as something doesn't like follow me and jump out at me, I think I'm okay. You don't like me putting that away. Is that a gun? No, it must be a sock. Yeah, after some more soul searching, or pole searching. I'm getting stressed. Where is, there's gotta be a pole or something nearby that I just can't see. This freaking room probably. What am I interacting with? A bottle? Pills, act and aid if you can. Ah, handy. They're essential to survival. When your sanity is dangerous, though, the only viable option to cover your sanity. Okay. I don't want to use it, but I. Maybe I'll. <laughs> Who the fudge was that? And whoever it was, did they just mock the noise that I did? Anyway, let's go find out. Alright, All right, I'm following you. I get it. I get it. Alright, we're not going to be scared. Did he go that way? Or did he go that way? I need to find some bulbs. How am I not scared in this situation? He's just like, yeah, I'm chilled. Coming. Go upstairs. Coming. This is my safe room, though. He's not going to hurt me in here, I don't think. Nothing on it yet. Hmm. Alright, I thought he was going to show me something, but... We're 
not too bad. Like, I don't I need a garage room key. So where's the laundry room? So whilst I was off looking for that garage key and that freaking pole, I did manage to find something else. Please give me a pole. I just need a pole. The basement key! The basement key! Alright, let's go find the basement. Where, oh where, was the basement? Something you need the basement key. Here's the basement. They weren't pull doors. So good with push doors. <laughs> Lighters. Lighters are this is minor source of light. Yes, to explore a house and they last a limited amount of time. They'll not prevent stress buildup. Standing in the dark with a lighter will decrease your your character's insanity. Oh, they can also light candles though. Well, that is good to know. We need the basement key for this door as well. We have it right here. Oh, laundry room. So that's how we get the garage key. Oh no, this is the kitchen. <sighs> cool, cool. Basement key. Well, we have the basement key. Should I go down into the basement before doing any more? I guess we'll find out. Darn you, pull doors! Pull doors are the bane of my life. How many times have you guys walked into a door and just smashed your face up against it because you thought it was a push door? Oh, I've been doing some decorating down here. Nice and bright though, happy with that. Hammer, can I keep it? Explore the slightly more lit up ways. Alright, maybe not. We're safe. It's basement. Basements are safe, right? Please don't have someone behind that curtain ready to kill me. Can I crawl through there? Nope. Not I. Spoopy setup here, doesn't it? I wonder if this is for a different mission. I'm getting scared, I'm getting stressed. That's just my candles. Alright, we're good now. We're gonna put my little lighter on. Oh shoot, where's my lighter? Did I not pick it up? we didn't pick up the lighter. We just looked at it and then it told us we could use it and I ran away. I'm gonna have to go back and find it, Torin. Oh, don't you dare, cheeky monkey. I'm just gonna go back and get that lighter and we'll just Carry on like this never happened, okay? Ah, ketchup. Life is better. Life is better. Because we have ketchup. The freaking lighter was somewhere around this area, right? Oops! Don't you shut that door on me, you... Butthole, I was walking through it. Don't you know it's rude to slam a door in someone's face? My brain is like totally fine with it though. It's like, yes, whatever. And back to the basement. Oh, fudge monkeys. Boiler rooms be scary and. 
Would you? I'm not standing in the dark too long. Please, 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 please. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Wait, what, do, what, what does it want me to examine? The air? It wants me to examine something. Examine this? Oh, you're just, you're just stuff. Okay, that's enough time in the boiler room. I was a really long time in there. I would like to try out this room, please. And go upstairs. I think this is going to be where I find my uh, working chair up here, you know, guys. I feel like, wait. Ah, oh, shoot. We're back here. Hmm. So if I was a laundry room, where would I be? So now guidance are essential to progress when we spawn in the storage room looking in the basement we're left behind. Oh nice. Did I lose anything? Nope, you didn't. Chop chop leans. <sighs> I guess I'm getting to explore the house so that when all this stuff happens, I'll have an idea of where to go future. That's it, Looney. Stay optimistic. Stop being spooky. We just need to find the laundry room, which looks like this could be the laundry room. Hello, garage key. happening with this one. My jeans are in there. Silly. I was like wandering around for so long just because I couldn't find that silly room. Wait, I think I'm going crazy. Did I die? I think I've fallen down a pit. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> no! I think I'm broken. I think I fell down something I shouldn't. No! Just as we knew where to go! Alright. Let's reload the game. Maybe just don't go anywhere where you can't see. I think maybe that's the moral of the story. Oh, we need a garage room key. Well, guess who just got a garage room door key? Right, so what have we got around here? We got tools tools and stoofs cars and stoofs oh hello a bottle oh that was in there nothing with that one Oh, 
to push. Yay, we have to push door at last. Oh, I think this, this is like the beginning, isn't it? Cool, cool. So we've, we've unlocked that door so we can get back to the main house quicker. Let's see what's up here. Find the room with the rocking chair. Sounds creaky, possibly. Didn't find any more broken bulbs. I would have liked to have found some more of those, I think. Good. Garage room key. Okay, got that. Back here. Oh, what have we done? We're not standing in the dark, don't worry. Holy sh good news. Is that the ghost that we followed? Or did I not just not notice that before? Has that happened since? We might have just got ourselves a weapon. Oh! To get in the lot. Oh! Get in the loft. You found Foggy Park. Oh shoot. Yes, it was the guy who was telling me to follow him to get into the loft. Give me arm with my two lighters. I'm so brave. Oh my gosh. That room can't be broken. That's like our that's like our favourite room. Alright, we know where we're going, guys. We're heading off to the attic. I was trying to... Oh, I jumped at that one. <laughs> I jumped at that basket. Okay, here we go. This is not going to be nice. Ah! Yeah, this is definitely where the rocking chair is going to be. I might just keep that on just for help because I'm scared. Not because the game needs it, because I need it. Alright, nice happy smiley face. That's, that's good. That's what we need right now. Um, I'm going to put a candle here if I can figure it out. What was that noise? Oh, fudge me. Sun and tea are written on the box. It's locked. I freaking love tea. I would lock my tea away too if I thought someone wanted to kill it. Or not kill it, drink it. I guess we just drop down. Lots of visage Something's gonna happen here. Face, a face, a face. Hmm. I thought 
I'm just gonna come up with that peephole. Stored in the world, keeping up sucker sites and the storage spaces. Can you just see that audio cassettes? We'll do that in a sec. Let's just check out this mirror in case this is the mirror. Or a vampire. Or a ghost. Maybe we're the ghost. I guess this is something we have to do now. Gross. What does it mean? All the numbers. Dolores' symptoms are aggravating. Doctors tell me it's become very hard to pinpoint the exact disorder. They tell me she's got symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, psychosis, dementia, and more. Do you have subtitles? are only making things worse. Today she told me she often hears her own voice whispering a sequence of five numbers through the baby monitor. Oh. She said it's the key to her inner house. Oh. What does that even mean? 503. What am I supposed to do? 5037 was that or? I'm gonna just listen to that one more time. Say five. Dolores' numbers. symptoms are aggravating. Looks like five Doctors seven. tell me it's become very hard to pinpoint the exact disorder. They tell me she's got symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, psychosis, dementia, and more. Three seven are only making things worse. Today she told me she often hears her own voice whispering a sequence of five numbers through the baby five, monitor. Five, three, seven, three. She said it's the key to her inner house. What does that even mean? What am I supposed to do? Five, three, seven, three. That's the numbers I'm getting from that floor here. Five, oh, three. It's 503 because we can see the 503 looks. 73. Okay. Where do we put that number in though? What's the point of this? Okay, so at this point, I spent a lot of time looking through those eye holes, expecting a jump scare, and an embarrassingly long time searching that room before finally figuring out what it was I needed to do. I found a slipper. Apparently that's something I need. Looks like something is missing. What, a foot for this slipper to go in? Two slippers! Oh shoot, that's caused this door to open. Oh, what's that? There's blood, there's blood. Is she gonna kill me? Somehow it won't line up. Ah! 
Alright, we got this, we got this, we got this. the blood I don't feel like this blood was this blood trail was here before it would take me to my safe room yeah this definitely wasn't here before What the f- This was meant to be the safe room. Should we go down there, guys? Let's just slide down the umbilical cord. He's like, nope. No, let's do it. We'll do it. Slide down the umbilical cord. Whee! Slide down this giant intestine or whatever it is. out either. I think this is, um, well, we might need to use that as a little hidey hole if something comes down here. I have a feeling something's going to come down here to kill me. like a ship now. Yeah, of course you won't light up. Right, we'll just walk to the mirror, shall we? Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, I've actually got, <laughs> I've actually got ghost pimples. <laughs> Gotta be the one we look at then. Do you reckon we just walk backwards from that point? I guess we do, right? Where was it? Which one were you? Do we can't click or wait? She disappeared. Oh, maybe we're too slow. Maybe she's gone to another mirror. Or maybe this is maybe this is what we're meant to do. Maybe I just didn't look long enough. Go ahead. Screw it up, because I'm not going to know which mirror. Oh, I might have screwed it up. Oh, I might have screwed it up. How am I going to know which mirror it is now? Wait, that one looks different to you. They've all got like a big section, and this one's 
What? Oh, hello. Oh, no, I think maybe this is correct. She just walked out of shot. So I reckon I do just keep looking at the mirrors. So that one... Is that just bugging out? Am I just too close? Maybe I'm just too close. Ah, oh, freaky deaky, I'll tell you that. This one, look, this one. <gasps> She's hanging. I guess she'll just fade away in a minute. I I hope nothing grabs me. We're at the end of the map. So maybe with this one there's nothing we can do. Maybe that's all it is, we just have to walk around and... The music's tense, isn't it? I wonder if we can... One, two, three... Oh, hello again, you. We're just going to replay now. She's not like coming closer or anything, she's just standing here. So maybe I'll just keep going round. You see her do the thing where she walks past. Maybe I can smash the mirror eventually. Okay, was it the same thing? Just walk backwards. end of the wall in case she's somehow back here. I don't think she is because I didn't have any success my last time. Yeah, there's nothing. What am I doing? What have I got to do? So it turns out all I needed to do was reset the game because it had bugged out again. Breathing. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that was, um, oh, it still won't light up. Okay, we have a light here. Is that my breathing or someone else's breathing? My son is going to go crazy. So in typical loony style, which you may have started to notice, I spent way, way, way too long mooching about in that room, trying to find out where that breathing was coming from. Let's move on. Is it my breathing or their breathing? Right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I think that was someone else's breathing there, wasn't it? Oh, this went a little weird, huh? We need to go check out the garage. This is all changed, I swear. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Getting aggressive. So we just got a sledgehammer. door open. This warning could not save automatically. Okay. Do we have to bash down this door? need to wield this with two hands. Uh, I don't know how to drop stuff, see any problem. There we go. So maybe this isn't what I need to do. I feel like it is, though. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I feel like I'm going to end up getting into fisticuffs. Oh, all the doors are padlocked. So I'll have to go a certain way, I guess. It's going to want me to... It'll show me where I have to go. Holy 
space suit. Keep it while it's still working for now. It's useless now, darn it. I thought maybe there would be something in these holes. something? Didn't I have something about the office? There was a note about finding something in Daddy's office. I didn't think that was going to work. Pick up, what is it? An infusion bag. A single knife seems to have been removed. I'm going to have to fight someone off, aren't I? Locked. Just looking, looking in the case, and I can't swing this. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just something shiny. to do in here. Maybe that's it for now. Maybe I need to smash all the mirrors. Wait, where are the mirrors?
still locked. I haven't found any more tapes yet. Why is she laughing at me? Oh shoot, there she is. still isn't there Save to slot two because it does bug up. Oh, that's a bit. Uh, what was it? Five oh three seven three. This bedroom, listen to that tape. Ooh, the plot thickens. I now fear for the baby. She has become obsessed with him. She says she can always hear him cry over the baby monitor, even when it's off. She has trouble differentiating him from the dolls in the house. Once she threw a doll away, realizing it wasn't the baby. Well, that's okay. I am horrified at the idea that she, she might do the same to the baby, thinking the she's <laughs> holding a doll. Okay, that's what I was going to say. That'd be worse. I've got rid of all the dolls in the house, and now she keeps on calling him, never remembering where he is. I have to keep a constant eye on both of them. The only time I can get some work done is when she's... like a nightmare. Oh, right, we're going to put our put our items in there. hang of these controls finally. I died, I died. Your undoing is now inevitable. I died, guys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Alright, let's try that again. 
in so we know. Maybe not swing at her. This, this gets scary. She's coming at me. <laughs> oh no, it sounds like it sounds like Bill out of uh, Dead by Daylight. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Wait. Oh, I didn't die that time. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh, I really don't want that news for me. You found an eerie poem. Would it say where? Oh, didn't let me read it. Yeah, that note had bugged out. I found it a little bit later on, on the stairs, after I'd explored the room for quite some time. What does that poem say? Whirling in an everlasting dream, it's a two-sided moon with clouded vision, lies down innocently by its guilty shadow. Between a two sided moon, a clouded vision lies down instantly by its guilty shadow. Two sided moon with a clouded vision lies down instantly by its That means something. I think I'm big brain for this. We are searching the room as thoroughly as I can. Obviously missing something. be something ah uh -huh, here and a mechanical crank <sighs> gotta be this one right can't use that here missing. Well, we have a crank. Guess we have to open them all. The light in here. I don't know what the the moon thing is about. To be sure. We got this. Maybe one of them won't work, or something will happen once they're all in. 
minus one. Two-sided moon. Go down there and look at them. I wonder if you can use the crank on any that you've done. If there's no one underneath them. Not so far, it looks like everyone's got a there's someone hanging underneath. I don't know if that one does. Yep. Yep. Alright, let's see if uh Let's see if it does anything down here now. I'll spare you the beautiful melodic sound of my dog's barking, and uh, yeah, we'll just skip to downstairs. Drunk seems to depict a moon, so we want this one. A moon. A butterfly. Doesn't depict anything at all. Was this a moon? Nothing at all. So we've got an eye. Butterfly. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave it there for now. There will be more video to come. I actually did do more video, but unfortunately it cut out. Um, so we can't actually use any of that, but I will be going back and making sure I get to the point where that video left off and continuing on from there. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked what you saw. Um, if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Come back next time. If you could leave a like on my video, I'd love that. And if you could leave a little comment to say things that you enjoyed about the video or what you'd want to see in future videos, that would be amazing. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.